Isabel Sayek from Qpoint Limited. Just wanted to tell you all what's been happening really. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, not just for us, for everyone, um, especially for the hospitality industry. But our story, where can I begin? I guess in March, um, we just actually extended our contract because we'd done so well at our restaurant site. And we were really excited for probably what was gonna be the best year for Qpoint Limited, like a self-finance company to have finally got to that stage to be like, okay, cool, we're ready. We're, gonna, we're ready to completely take over this game. And then lo and behold, COVID-19 um, came. We, not wanting to lose everything that we've worked for for so long, really, really quickly pivoted and we decided to go online. Being able to get our food the way we want it to the customer is kind of how we how we live really. I mean, even opening up a Uber Eats and stuff like that is a bit is a bit cautious for us because we don't we don't want the food to drop in quality too much. By going online, we created a series of incredible the whole menu actually, which Josh is really happy about. And, and started to distribute them nationwide, which was an incredible experience. And just the response that we got was amazing. So a huge thank you to everyone that's been there. Unfortunately, our contract got terminated. Um, it was out of the blue. We were quite shocked by it, and it, 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 did, it, it did push us back for a, a week. We weren't quite sure what to do, how to do it. We just relaunched it with this whole concept of, of e-commerce and placing barbecue in backpack bags and you know shipping them. So it was quite. It was it was a huge shock. Um, I felt like that was probably for me the time when I might almost almost have been ready to give up but we didn't we didn't i don't think we can <laughs> with the types of people that we are so um we found a new site we quickly packed everything up threw away a lot of items that we couldn't keep and and moved so that q point could still carry on and be alive and not let covid take us When the, when the contract got terminated in a W12, it was a, real, it was a real shock to us, really. I mean, I think that's what did the most damage in terms of my mental, my mental, my mental health. But I think obviously coming out with, with our new concept and, and where we're going with it is, is what's put us on track in, in that sense. Like we're, I mean, even the, I mean, the backpack bags again, the sources, everything going out the way we want it to go out and being delivered the way we would expect it to be received. I think COVID is what has kind of given QPoint the, the push to do and go many more, many more places than it, than it could have. I mean, it's given us a, a solution to a lot of our problems, which we didn't know we had. And it's given us a whole new outlet to, to serve our food. So now rather than going, I mean, area bound, just, just being able to serve in one area, we can serve nationwide. And I mean, the response from everybody has been amazing. So. I just think we need to keep plugging at this and make sure that we get to the place we want to with it. So many diverse groups of people that usually wouldn't be included in this. Um, we'd already done that via London, but now all these people in Bradford, in Manchester, in Newcastle, in Liverpool that couldn't have access to certain types of foods like ours because of dietary requirements, because of certain religious beliefs, cultural beliefs, we allow for that. We consider our recipes. We think, well, this should be open to more people. So by not using something like, say, gelatin and replacing it with pectin, we've already allowed a whole community to access this and 
it's been amazing to see the response from the nation. Obviously not been an easy time for anyone. Uh, on top of COVID-19, Black Lives Matter showed the world really how much systemic racism is woven into so many industries and that it's not a trend to fix, it's something that must be within an ethos of a company and it's always been for us. So on top of COVID, Black Lives Matter, all of this social unrest with everything going on, the fact that we are still here, the fact that we are alive, providing inclusive barbecue to the nation, it's, it's, it's been an almost dream come true from a nightmare. So we are just really grateful and really blessed to be where we are now. Every, all of that's taking me through, every message, it's, what we need and crave right now at a time when you feel so distanced from your customers, from your clients, from people that you would see every day, that you'd have such a real relationship with and now you speak to them online, you speak to them via Instagram, you speak to them via emails. It's not the same, but I am so grateful that we've still managed to have a connection with them and as much as I hope for everything to go back to normal so that we can see our customers again. I'm grateful that we've managed to pivot and that we've done this.